Okay, Chafa, um, mm -hmm. this is your piece that we gilded yes. not too long ago, and it looks like it's already dry. Mm -hmm. So you see I'm, I'm delicately dusting it with the cotton, and I can see where it's adhered. And I can see that it's pretty dry, so I can do a, a I can try burnishing. So I take a burnishing stone, and I apply a very little pressure at first, and then I increase it slightly. Yes. And can you see? Mm -hmm. It's starting to get shine. It's beautiful, this instrumental. Yeah. Oh yeah. How do you? Yeah, we need that tool too, right? Yeah, you'll need oh. a burnishing, an agate stone for burnishing. They come in different sizes and different yes. shapes. This is a good shape. Mm. Sort of like a dog's tooth. Mm. Um, now, uh, you have to go carefully at first because uh, you have to make sure it's completely dry uh, because the water tends to accumulate in areas like that or, you know, along mm. this crevice mm. or down in here. So. When you first it's uh, better if you take, uh, keep it overnight or... Well, I mean, we, if we, if we, we have be other yeah. stuff to do also. Except that there is an optimal moment for burnishing, that oh. if you get to it... If you when let it's it dry nice, too much? Yeah, no. it's more brittle and it, you don't get such a nice shine and mm. it doesn't shine up. Uh, your stone Ooh, slides over the shiny. surface. Yeah, it's like butter when it's like this. And it's better to catch it at that moment, right? So it's dry, but how do you, how can you tell? <laughs> well, you, you've dry given it enough time for the, for the water to dry, basically. And then you, you carefully start burnishing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll feel right away if your stone catches in one of these areas, one of these crevices. And uh, you stop right away because uh, then you you're actually damaging the surface. So do you if you catch one of those areas, do you move? Well, you do you move to an area that has that is drier, like for example, the top may be drier? And no, no, I would stop. I would stop. stop I would go and have lunch and <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> come back. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, because there is this perfect moment when it's dry and. The burnishing will be um, easy and uh, you'll get a wonderful shine, but uh, if you go before, then uh, it's just Can not I ready. Can I take a picture of you without moving the, well, with the thing there? Okay. Yeah. It's good to archive all this, like that you won't forget, because uh -huh. sometimes with the note, even if you're very clear. Mm -hmm. So, um, these are the little... Uh, Holidays where yeah. Yeah. Um, we didn't, uh, the leaf broke and you didn't uh, press it, a new piece back on and patch it up. But for the most part, uh, there are no uh, problems because you didn't uh, wet. Because that can be another thing. If you don't wet enough, then um, the leaf will not adhere. Huh. Also, uh, if you don't press it down. Um, it's not a good idea, again, to touch it with your hands. I have a bad habit. It's better to, you know, have mm. cotton or cotton glove. Okay, you want to try burnishing? Yes, Chocolate? I want. Okay. Okay, can you take a picture of me later? Uh-huh. It's on, so just press it. Okay. But first, you, did, 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 you, did you go like that with the cotton? Uh, no, I don't do a lot of that because okay, so uh, it's the burnishing. It's that the burnishing that's that's compressing and it's making it shine. That's it. <laughs> 